Perfect. What's going on, guys? Norm here. We're in a flavor lab during a power outage. And what we're doing today, well, we're gonna do some prep, but we're making honey, garlic, spare ribs. Shit. All right, boss. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. This is gonna be a slow cooker meal. Uh, I'm just gonna do some of the prep now because I have a little bit of a power source that I can heat and I can hook up at least my camera and my light. Uh, none of the other lights are working, unfortunately, but we can at least get this started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pork side ribs. They are the short kind, like the shortcut. Uh, I'm gonna chop those up. What we're gonna need, now, I don't go too crazy with this. I grab a couple of these VH uh, honey garlic sauce when they go on sale uh, because usually I, I like to go with the Maritime Madness. You guys know that, they're my boys. Uh, but we are cooking quite a bit. We're doing a whole pot. It's gonna get expensive if you do that. I find for these, I like to go with this sauce. It's very liquidy. Everything's gonna get submerged in it and it's cheap. These are like, they go on sale for like two bucks each. So I usually grab them when they're on sale, put them aside when I wanna do my ribs, bingo bango, I got them. With that, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra honey to get them a little bit extra sticky. Uh, some soy sauce, little tiny bit of uh, sesame oil. Not a huge deal if you don't have the sesame oil, not crucial, it adds a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. I like that, I'm gonna finish with that, but you guys don't have to have it. And some sesame seeds. That's it. Uh, I'll probably grab a little tiny bit of garlic too. Maybe a tiny little bit of onion, but I'm not even sure about that yet. I might use a little extra garlic. We'll see how this goes. All right, boys. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start chopping up these ribs. You just want one rib per, and we're gonna put those individual pieces in our pot. If you, if you end up with like two ribs per, that don't hurt us, it's all good. Like, we're not fucking Gordon Ramsay here, we're not, you know, Jamie Oliver, we're not all those guys, we're the Flavor Lab. We're having fun, boss. We're cooking it up, we're having a good feed, we're having a good time. Well, I am, I don't know about you. Uh, so don't worry about, if you get a little, get them a little bit too big, just cut them up, try to get one bone, that way they're nice little, Little snacks. Now I'm probably gonna have this with a little bit of rice and some veg, but you can have this with, you know, if you got buddies coming over, you're watching hockey, football, whatever, you can just fire these on. They're gonna be a little messy, make sure you get some napkins. But this is a nice little snack. Like just put a tray of these out, buys are gonna love them. Guaranteed, guaranteed buys. All right buys, so we got our pork all chopped up and into the slow cooker. Now we're gonna coat that with our honey garlic. Get that all in, boss. So that's one jar. They might not be fully submerged. That's okay. Here's our other jar. Because we're gonna, on occasion, mix this up a little bit. I like a little ex I like a little soy sauce in there. There's a little bit of salt in that already. We're probably gonna add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. We're gonna add just a little tiny bit of sesame oil to bring out a little bit of the extra flavor here. About a tablespoon of that. Then we're just gonna hit it with a little tiny bit of honey. I like it to be a little extra sweet, a little extra sticky. So probably about a quarter cup of honey. Yeah, more of that. Probably about, yeah, about a quarter cup, maybe a third cup. So I'm gonna mix this up a little tiny bit. All right, get that all mixed together. That's gonna go in a slow cooker, actually for right now, because again, power's out, thanks Nova Scotia Power. You're not good at what you do at all, but um, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Then as soon as the power comes back on, I'm gonna hit that on high for probably about four hours, check the tenderness, probably gonna be somewhere between four and six. Yeah, so we'll get that into the, uh, the air fryer or the oven and just put that on convection if we can, just to let the, uh, let the um, sauce that's on it caramelize a little bit, just to finish it off so you, you don't have, you get a better texture out of it, and it'll be nice, like that nice little sticky bite that you get. So we're gonna do that. But again, we're in the waiting game now. So that's really it, boss. We'll do that, cook. And I just like to finish with a little tiny bit of sesame seeds on it. 
I'm probably gonna cook some vegetables and rice with it. But uh, again, this is just about these pork uh, ribs. I just want to show how show you how easy this is. Perfect. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, boys. Power just came back on. So I'm, I just knocked those guys uh, up to a uh, high on six hours in the slow cooker. I'm gonna to toss those every probably half an hour, hour, probably every hour or so, just to continuously get those coated because they're not completely submerged and just get those moving around. And then what we're gonna do, I'll check that every once in a while, see what they're looking like. Once uh, once they start to like kind of start falling off the bone a little bit, then we're gonna hit them in the oven. We'll be back shortly, boys. Perfect. So the ribs cooked for about four hours or so, and I took them out, so this is what we're looking at here. I suppose you can see that. I ate a few of them because I'm starved. So what we're gonna do is I took out about a half a cup or so of the juices that were in there. So that's still the honey garlic uh, with like the honey and stuff that we put in there, but it's gonna have a little bit of like the mixture of the ribs and stuff. We're gonna thicken that up with a little bit of honey and then what we're going to do is we are going to add, see here, yeah, we're going to add a little bit of garlic to that. Now I know that this just cooked in it, but then we're going to put it on convection. And what we're going to do is we are going to glaze these guys. So I'm going to use this as a little bit of a glaze. I'm not going to completely coat them in it. I'm going to put the oven on convection at about 350. Glaze these guys a little bit, toss them as needed. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this sauce on. Give those guys a little toss. Then we're gonna to toss that in the oven at about 350. Let that cook for, actually I'm gonna have one of these. I'm really hungry, Buzz. Mm. Look, I could eat that, that like that. Cook that for about 10, 15 minutes and check on it. Maybe toss them around a little bit until that sauce gets sticky. Then we're done. We'll be back. Perfect. All right, now boys, so I made myself. <clears throat> I cooked the uh, ribs off at about 350 on convection for about 20 minutes. This is what we're looking at here. I tossed them a few times. So I got myself a bed of rice and some broccoli. And I'm just gonna top that with the uh, pork ribs here, or sorry, beef ribs. Gonna get a nice view of them on so that it looks nice. There we go. Then we're gonna top it with some uh, sesame seeds. Just to make it look pretty. Pretty awesome. So that's what we're looking at there, guys. Looks pretty good to me, let's give it a shot. Perfect. super simple we don't go too in depth I want to just do something real quick and easy anybody can do this it takes like three ingredients it's over it's done and uh, give this a shot let me know what you think but remember don't be going home hungry let's get after it